Niji Sanji is making sure that their merchandise is looking as amazing as possible. Of course, no sarcasm here. Phase Connect supports their talents and does support artists. Matara Khan talks about a little rosy friend and much more today on VTuber News segment. As we all know, uh, the people uh, that are Niji's sisters have to find a refuge where they can, you know, either talk positively about their company or talk negatively about other companies. Uh, but recently they put a post down here about the new badges with snapshot cards and everything like that. Um, and they're not looking very original, but people are like, oh my God, they're doing so many new things. Like right here, it says Niji birthday goods set will have renewed products. It doesn't even look like really renewed products. Honestly, it looks like all they did is maybe make it a little bit bigger, maybe use different pictures, you know? Some dude made this sub who was unrelatable to Black Door. Joined the, here when its member count was roughly 200-ish. A lot has changed since then. And here's the Niji Liver. Can we have a play, silver play button? Niji Sanji. No, we have silver play buttons at home. At home. It's it's an actual just silver button. <laughs> that's, that's literally what their silver play buttons are. Just a silver button. That's all it is. And it's all, all that the, the talents will ever see is that silver button. It won't be a play button, but it'll be their silver button, of course. Let's see what people have to say about this. Uh, it says any color and they chose gray and then this other person says which is the least a step back up from black at the very least yes just means they got more room for darkness and then we got kudo sanji over here another one making fun of it, it says we've renewed the product lineup an a5 acrylic panel set a b2 cloth poster set and then you have cloth poster metallic charm duplicate letter and photo card letter and photo card is pretty this looks the same i don't know what's renewed about it like three badges snapshot like, isn't that the same thing they had before with acrylic stands instead? Like, that's not, like, creatively doing anything. You know what I mean? Imagine paying their, the asinine prices and getting the same samples as displayed just because they're desperate to keep going. I mean, there's always their crusaders, the lightly brown nosing them hell and back. Kind of people who'd like that S. Better explanation from a tweet in the thread. Also notice they included duplicate handwritten message in their advertisements now. Oh, they did. They did put duplicate handwritten message because of what, um, duplicate letter and photo card, duplicate letter and photo card. They did that now because of the issue that happened with the Luka Kaneshiro thing. So they kind of learned. They kind of learned. Um, they, they did that now. Ah, interesting, interesting, interesting. That is very interesting. Uh, let's see. Thought the gray black Niji logo was an edit at first. Jeez. Meanwhile, in our universe, Matara signing cards and during stream. Tokyo made buttons for our merch and everyone else also get a signed postcard. My hands help. Bay, everyone gets signed postcard guaranteed. Unlimited uh, amount. Let me redraw hundreds of PFPs for Super Chats. Uh, Kuro Sanji is now official. Link to source. It's just pretty shameless. They're trying to keep appearances. Will you pay for it? Uh, who the F is buying this merch? Same for years. What kind of merch is this? I don't understand. I've always had my frustrations with VTuber merch. It's kind of default PNG slapped onto something random, but like this. Yeah, it's just bad, bad stuff. Liquidate, 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 liquidate. They're liquidating all their assets, it looks like. It really is a last-ditch attempt from what it looks like. Holy crap, it really is. And it's just... It's just dumb. I don't think it'll work. It won't work the way that they want it to. But let them keep trying. Unrelated to Niji Sanji, but still, it is a good example of how a talent can be supported by a CEO. It doesn't always have to be money-wise. It can just be in giving themselves talent freedoms, giving their talents a good freedom, giving their talents something to look forward to. You know, the projects that they have maybe being uh, greenlit, you know, things like that. Uh, unlike what Niji Sanji's done with, you know, Pomu, and then you had Selene with her projects getting shut down a lot. Pomu with the projects getting shut down a lot. I'm pretty sure Mika had the same situation. Probably same thing with uh not with Kuro, uh, which is who used to be Mista, because Mista is one of the was one of the favored ones in Luxium. So most likely not Mista, but uh people like uh Scarla, people like you know, former people you have maybe probably Nina probably had projects that she wanted to do but weren't able to do because of you know the way Nidi Sanji ends up being. Um people like that, I think are are uh the ones that have more to say anything about but the base ceo base coffee of uh, youtuber company happy birthday memory uh gave 200 dollars 200 canadian dollars because of course it's a canadian company it's all from canadia uh google will take a third of that and who knows how much management cut that amount still a good move 50 percent after youtube cut seems to be the standard even among smaller corpos from what i've heard so let's say take a third of that probably a third of that uh third of 200 is what you know 65 dollars so 135 and half of that is probably about 65 or 70 bucks uh, that she's going to be getting after that. But that's still money anyways. <laughs> it's funny because Sakana is going to be getting a return on his investment, I guess, because he's going to be getting some money after that. But 
you know, ta other talents gifted memory special presence like Loki with a thousand yen super chat, Tenma with 50 memberships to chat, Riku doing the same thing for every needy, needy liver's birthday stream will actually be a nice strategy to at least partially restore the reputation. If he does that, which I doubt he will, I really doubt he will, but well, assuming he actually cares, there's always a better fishman. Yes, there's always a better fisherman, there's always a better fishman, there's always a better person out there um, to make sure that the livers at least know that they're appreciated. Uh, I know Yago doesn't give money specifically, like I said, but the Hololive has a program where uh, you can get a loan out for whatever project you want to do and you pay it back with zero interest. So you just pay back the exact amount of money that you were given, which is, you know, the best loan you could possibly ever get. We have a little bit of face connect type of situation here. If anyone remembers, I believe it was yesterday when it was announced in Ofkai, face connect not only sponsored the artist Ali in general, but also paid for every single fee out there in artist alley the fees are usually hundreds of bucks like 200 bucks or more so it was thousands of dollars that the um that face connect did for this and it is nice for them to do that but um it, it can worry if they're spending the money correctly that's up to face connect that's up to their people that's up to their their ceo and that's up to their executives to see if that's something worth it i think a lot of them think you know pr wise it's definitely worth it and just for the pr part of it a lot of people think it's definitely worth it. I would tend to agree for the most part because um, PR, like if good PR is the type of thing that you like m money can buy. But if you do it like in this type of way, it's definitely going to be really good for you. So Space Connect recently put out new talents, both in English and Japanese with well-known artists and expensive riggers. And a CEO could also afford to buy off every single artist alley table at the off-kind. Artist alley tables are usually $200 each. So that's a lot of money. I'm thinking the talents for the CEO to be able to do things like this regularly how much are they truly earning thanks for those who answered very well appreciated basically people is i don't have the numbers from what our talents have said about face connect and sakana i don't think they have a bad deal pippa mentioned on stream about how management sat her down and went through her contract to make sure she understood it all several of the talents tenma have other jobs they don't rely on face connect to fully support themselves and treat it more like a part-time job at least seven talents phase invaders saya muyu from gen 3 clara from jp came from other vtuber agencies all of which died, so they should have some idea of what a fair contract is. Remember a comment on FaZe Connect Sub mentioning that FaZe fans have generous super chatting culture. So although some talents man has low CCV, they still may still earn a decent amount. And they do. <clears throat> they tend to. Although talents complain and make jabs at Sakana, none of them are serious and I don't think any of the talents act awkwardly around him or when he is mentioned. So unless they're all amazing actors, he comes across as having a rapport with his talents, not as someone screwing them over for profit. Last point is just my gut feeling after watching FaZe, uh, though. So only talents I might be worried about are the JP ones. The vast majority of FaZe Connect's audience don't speak Japanese, but JP talents from Gen 1 are still here and seem to be happy. So yeah, <clears throat> it's probably, you know, JP is probably going to be expanding. Correct me if I'm mistaken, Tenma mentioned that she's secretly being a VTuber and using the office lady job as a facade since her family didn't approve of streaming as a job. I'm not sure her job, her office job is probably easier to explain to your family member than being a VTuber. Uh, can confirm about super chatting, being very generous, being watching various talents for a while. Culture of using super chats, you see people using highlight feature on Twitch. Many two to five dollar super chats every stream. Also a lot of whale super chats. Yeah, they do. Uh, he's filthy rich venture capitalist from what I understand. He wanted to invest in a company but got ghosted. So he said F it and he did it himself. For people like that, a couple of tens of thousands of dollars in cost is a drop in the bucket. Of course, he has to make sure he, everything stays um, liquid. You know, he has to make sure there's liquidity. But yeah, he can spend a bit of money if he wants to. Watch their streams out of character and Q&A streams. The Sakana girls seem to be happy with what they got. Dude gives out holiday bonuses to them. Oh, wow. Holiday bonuses. That's actually really good. Holy crap. Trust Fishman more than Yachtman. Um, TLDR, all eyes on Ofkai. It's a solid PR move for, for uh, FaZe. It's an established fact that the CEO, Sakana, takes care of his talents and there's no need to worry. People telling you to ask him are telling you to do so because he's completely approachable and available on Twitter. They're not being dismissive. Like I last I checked, Face Connect are not caught in controversy or have graduations every month. I think they're doing well. It's going to be doing well just like Idle EN is doing well and Idle in, ge in general is doing well. Don't hunt for something that doesn't exist. If you watch Phase Girls, you know they define well and have told uh, when things are bad or wrong. And wouldn't pretend, yeah, like uh, I'm pretty sure Pippa and Tenma would say if something was really wrong. I'm pretty sure both of them would say something if it's really wrong. Sakana's a nice man, gave a bunch of gifted subs during Panko karaoke stream. So yeah, it's, he's a venture capitalist. He has the money. He's smart enough. He knows what he's doing. So it's not going to be anything bad. They're, they're not going to go under. They're not going to go belly up. They're not treating their talents bad as far as I can tell at least. As we know, Nidhi Sanji doesn't necessarily like giving their people songs, at least not until recently. It may be because they're trying to compete with Hololive, 
It may be because they, they're seeing money in the idol industry when they themselves used to call themselves not an idol company, just like a VTuber company instead. They're now giving even their new branches a song. It says here, of course, we're going to take a look at it. TTT Desire official music video release in celebration of Kunai Nakasato. Free Bright Shield, Claude Clawmark's half anniversary. We're excited to announce the official music video release of TTT's theme song, Desire. Catch the premiere on Ian official YouTube channel. Now they give them a song. Too little, too late. You're missing a T there. Forgotten just like this wave was. Too little, too late. Totally forgotten. Uh, too little, too late, too bad. Really don't like this new pattern of give newer gens a song, but sung by someone else and not in a gen. Did TTT even know this was happening before the tweet went up? There's a clip of one TTT member saying they're glad they don't have to sing. It's still their song, take responsibility for it, and they don't want to sing, do something else. Part of me wonders if they know a bunch of people are leaving, so now they're trying to add value to the ones that are staying, of course. Um, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to trying to add value. I'm not sure how much value can be added at this point, but yeah, they're trying to add value. If not, they're definitely trying to be a good behavior with the talents. Now the reality of the situation is known to everyone else. Probably to try to keep them happy at the same time contracts can be renewed. It's like how abusive spouse will shower their victim with affection and gifts they're worried about losing control of them. Probably been promised changes and may see a few minor ones, but it's just an act until management can go back to their old ways without fear of consequences. Love bombing and empty promises. The worst uh, part is it works in a lot of people. Victims are often so worn down their energy and stamina to question or think critically goes down. And they're often so tired and desperate for any kind of relief. They can see love bombing and promises of said relief. And then they are too worn down to question the ulterior motives behind the gifts, favors, and promises. And the cycle repeats. And betting the longer tenured ones will be more likely to see through this, while the ones who drank the Kool-Aid will see it as proof that everything was fine the whole time. Uh, Crisis didn't even get a song. Kind of funny how they will see TTT got their song first. I'm just speculating. But having an ex Hanamori gen mate helps. IRC Crisis bundled up together with JP New Livers as part of Heroes. So their theme song might be sung by JP Livers. I think I vaguely remember Anna also saying the song for Crisis, but I might be wrong. Also, it's, it's actually for TTT, so the song has been released since debut, but the music video was released just now. TTT had the song on debut, but no music video, so basically they gave the music video to them now. My face when the amount of Twitter likes is more than all three of the YouTube viewerships combined. Holy crap. Totally no viewbots here. Are they finally singing, or are they asking Anna to sing again? Tweet says vocals by Anna and Maria. Ah, okay. So it's vocals by Anna and Maria. They're not even singing it. For the love of God, please tell me they're at least appearing in the music video or something. No, wait, that would be artists drawing them. No, actually talents themselves. What are the talents actually contributing to this anniversary gesture? The names, that's pretty much it. What's the point of a Jen song if none of them sing it? I don't know. None of them are even singing it. Claude Clawmark uh, bootlegs sufficiently to fulfill the theme song request requirements. It was one of the guys who said, if you want to play button, we could just ask. It is... Um, the Desire is getting 24k views, it looks like. It's time they're going to release for TTT. Turns out the song itself released on the 20th of October, 2023. Damn. They didn't even get the actual livers to sing the song. I don't know why. Maybe they didn't They didn't trust that they could sing it right? I said this for using content they did for the AR Live. Maybe Scratch Marks Claude effing ass for the theme song. Could very well be. We don't know. But it's just weird that they're not singing their actual song. I could understand if it's someone like me. I can't sing for shit. So I can absolutely understand that. Them not wanting to sing it. Because I can't sing for Jack Squat. So uh, me having my song being sung by someone else would probably be a good a good thing for other everyone else's ears. And for everyone else who even watches me. You're not a hero. Nidhi's ugly cast. Clear from previous Nidhi Sunday studies that among the agencies in the world, Nidhi has solidly heterogeneous cast of livers. All agencies except Nidhi are close regardless of seniority or, jun or junior, like juniorness. Uh, they're united as colleagues. Makes it more open. Everyone benefits, both talents and management. Opposite is the case with Nidhi Sanji, the black company. Nidhi cast began at the launch, especially widely known for past competitions. It made its presence known. Um, a liver named Naruse Naru, the lowest cast of JP Livers, won the Mario Kart competition. Had a terrible first model, was bullied by Kemo Chitoya and others who discriminated against ADHD as, as HDMI and never apologized. Uh, other hand, he was a good Mario Kart player, so this win itself is not unusual. The problem was the sm slander from Nidhi Sisters for this. After he won the championship, he was bombarded with the following words from Nidhi Sisters. Most unimportant guy won. Why are you the winner? You have no popularity and no redeeming qualities. So don't even try to show it. Retire. What's the point of these bottom livers winning? Oh, it's you. Why did Fua, Fua Minoto to win? You're not hero. And um, this is the blogging parts. The the horrifying thing about it is that a lot of agreement with these comments. The fact that any color did not respond to them is slanderous. He needs you the castest ratings. Keep all but winning livers in hell. If Yamiono Moruru had not been able to escape from Niji, which is the one that we were just talking about, just talking about Luna. We talked about Luna before. Uh, Moruru, who's now Himemori Luna, was mistreated. She was treated as the bottom cast. She was shunned. Uh, she was um, bullied because of her voice. 
She was bullied because of all the attention that her voice was getting her. She was, um, when she actually was graduating, she had an open VC so people from Nidhi Sanji could come and say hello, say goodbye, you know, talk to her a little bit. No one came and she was left crying. So that really pisses me off. Not have been successful enough to get a sol solid gold reproduction button as Himamori Luna would have broken her spirit and ruined her life. Moruru was slandered by Tachibana and Nidhi's sisters. Moruru was nearly crushed by internal and external cast bullying, including being slandered by a heavyweight Nidhi's sister named Tachibana. Tachibana, who was a factor in Moruru's retirement, I'm very happy that the neighborhood is moving in a positive direction with her retirement. Um, and we're going to have those there. Nidhi cast is a monstrosity fostered by black companies and Nidhi sisters. The spectacle we saw in Nidhi EN is probably the extension of this and explains the arrogance of Elira and Vox in their treatment of Zion and Selene. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at everything that was shown as evidence here. These are the things with, with that, you know, all the comments, all the negative comments here, uh, more negative comments. Uh, uh, Tatibana, which was the one that was that was slandering uh, the person who won the Mario Kart tournament over here. It's, you know, all these comments in regards to Moruru and uh, they're all in Japanese, of course. But, you know, all of these negative things about uh, Moruru is not not fun, not good. But yeah, pretty much it says I'm very happy that the neighborhood is moving in a positive direction. Tachibana is the one who did all this type of stuff with, with her and was mistreating her the whole way. Tachibana and, you know, Mr. Dark, Tachibana, Mr. Dark, all these type of things. It is just not right for something like this to happen um and it is i the, the motoru thing is something that really annoys me from the very bottom of my heart because she has shown at least now that um she is not someone who can be knocked down although of course like i said she did cry she did have that situation where she cried and um it is never something fun it's never something uh, good for someone to go through and it can really take you down. Let's just say what people are saying here. Actually, unironically hilarious that the company that's so hard to tell everyone it's not an idol company do work like an idol company and even freaking host club. I remember my friend give comparison between Hollow and Niji. In Hollow, they work an idol company from anime Love Love or, or IMOS. In Niji, they work IRL underground, idol usually where the, they heard bad news, stigma, idol coming from. Um, they basically I don't know, man. It really does annoy me when things like this happen. It really does. Mostly because Idol Company is S because an outgrowth of the S entertainment industry practices. Yeah, because idols get mistreated a lot in, in Japan. It seems like they get bad contracts. They get bad everything. Feels like associating with anyone is actively discouraged. Look into my Oshi's channel. Debbie-sama does occasional collab. The vast majority of streams are solo and don't break into the 10,000s too often. Can understand putting them in, into groups and basically discouraging interaction unless it's the big ones. You don't really want to collab unless it's within your wave or similar tiered reputation. It has been like this forever. Each fan base hates each other because they view each other as a rival. Tribalism existed in the creation of Sanji. Unfortunately, this happens a lot in um, in YouTube and a lot in VTuber spaces. I've been trying, like someone has tried to knock me down because they see me as a rival instead of seeing me as a friend. It's happened, unfortunately. That desert is Kuzuha's decay pioneer. Those coming after the JK group. It would be good for the future if they greeted the JQ K group. They'll be changing the schedule for the JK group. JK trio nowadays are now quite irrelevant to Nidhi sisters though. Bully Sanji never changes. Poor Naruto say he won the tourney I think three times as well, but almost zero clippers and has avoided the last tournament. I suggest people please check him out if you can. He's very sweet and a dork who loves football and messing around. So yeah, check out some people if you want. The Nidhi sisters, or in this case, actually just a tweeter. A Twitter V Twitter, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this person was getting angry at Quinn collabing with Fillion, possibly. Uh, I'm low key glad the stream got canceled, but disappointed he considered doing it in the first place. People really don't like Fillion, and I don't get why people don't like Fillion. Uh, people love Quinn because you know he used to be Kyo of uh, Nidhi Sanji at EN, and people love Kyo. Uh, he says, Oh, thank God, definitely. Like, I swear, I mean, this is the nicest way possible, but the moment these people become indie VTubers, they collab with some of the worst people. Uh, um, Fillion's not a horrible person. She has some, uh, she, she definitely has some extreme moments. Got some moments where she's like, holy crap. Uh, what did you just say, Fillion? But, uh, she gets a lot of hate. Undue hate, I think. I honestly think she gets a lot of undue hate. Yeah, sadly, I just hope he doesn't consider it again. I love watching Quinn, but not gonna lie, I was willing to pass that stream up to avoid seeing her or hearing her. And the same with the other terrible streamers. It just rubs him the wrong way. Again, people tying their happiness to another streamer is kind of... Um, in this case, with Fillion, Fillion has done nothing wrong, as far as I can tell. Yeah, she's had some takes where it's like, holy crap, what are you saying, Fillion? Uh, you're going to get canceled for this type of thing. 
PayPal's had the same things. But like, if you don't like the streamer, don't watch it. Don't try to make people, uh, you know, kowtow to the way that you see things. That kowtow to the way that you are. You, you shouldn't do that. People will also never let go of the see uh, those they deem worthy of cancellation. Same with Silvervale and Hogwarts Legacy. Same with Sayu and her jokes. Same with Fitting and her jokes. They want her to bow down to their full rage. Do they know their their opinion is negligible? What's wrong with Fitting besides the AR scandal? Do not know, but I guess unfortunate George Floyd joke long ago. That's one of the things that people don't like. AR art scandal. She has two different tags for art. One is AI and one is real. That's the thing. Um, talking about the situation when a VTuber awards we say, remember correctly, I had an AI portrait. This was some yapping, but nothing serious. Yeah, one joke about Floyd, or at least that one that I know. Wrong according to them, of course, it's years old. That collab would help him grow. Exactly. That's why Quinn wanted to collab with Fillion. One, Fillion's an amazing streamer. Two, it's a, it's a big streamer. So she's a big streamer, which would mean that he would grow. And of course, as a streamer, you want to grow. So I have no fault in him doing that. I would not fault him ever. As we all know, Matarakan has a lot of friends because she used to be Nina Kosaka. So she has a lot of friends both within and outside of Nidhi Sanji. Um... And Matakan travels and talks to her Rosie friend in person and meets old friends. She's my little Rosie. I asked for her. I asked for her permission, but I traveled a little. She traveled and met. we met up in. Really good to see her. I miss her dearly. So probably talking about Rosamie right here. It's what, at least what people are saying that they're talking about Rosamie. And here we go. I can't really tell you too much about my vacation uh, because I, I do have a very close friend from my Hollywood days that I talk to a lot. Like Hollywood days. A little bit private of a person. So e um, Hollywood days always means for her Niji Sanji. She uses Niji Sanji as Hollywood. Even the fact that I'm talking to you about it now, I asked for her permission. Um, she's my little rosy friend. That's all I, I can say. But I traveled a little bit and she traveled a little bit and we met up in a, in a location together. I went to record at an old studio I used to I used to go to a few times. I, it was actually quite busy. I saw an old therapist of mine. I saw some old friends. I did a lot of work. I That's why that's why I couldn't play with everybody for Mochi's debut because I wasn't on uh. the usual setup. But it was really, really good to see her. We had a lot of delicious food. It was just nice. I, I miss her dearly. But, uh, you know, it, it's tough when everybody's so busy with their days and their stuff. We're planning to go on another trip sometime. Oh, nice. And uh, again, I don't talk about her very often. I feel like the internet has this weird, I don't blame the internet for this, but I guess if I don't mention somebody, it's like, are they still friends? Do they talk? Do they not? I talk to her quite a lot. We, we catch up quite a lot. Obviously, like we don't live close to each other, so it's hard to see each other, but we, we catch up quite a lot and we talk quite a lot. We text each other quite a bit. And uh, yeah, it was just really good to see her. It was really good to see her. And I, I can't, I, I'm sorry, I'm not going to go into big, big, big details because she's pretty private. And um, I, well, I understandable. Try to understandable. not talk about her too much because I don't want, I don't want, um, I don't want people to like make assumptions or send anything her way, you know? Um, um, Absolutely yeah, we're just, not. We're planning another trip, and uh, we want to hang out a little bit more. That, that's about it. That, that's that's about all I can tell you. It was really nice to see her. It was really nice to see her, and uh, we had a lot of great food. At one point, we went to get food. Oh my goodness! And I got a glass of wine. The food took such a long time to come that I, I was getting a little white girl wasted on my on my one glass of wine. I was getting white girl wasted on my one glass of, wow. of wine. Oh my goodness! It was uh, it was it was some good times. It was some good times. We went to a few cafes. We got a little bit of food. And again, nothing really to talk about. I didn't really want to post the pictures because when I travel, I try not to post the pictures right away. Um, we did go to some cafes that I felt maybe would have some kind of identifiable cakes or snacks or things like that. So I wanted, you know, I just we, we have a few cities that are close to like both of us that we like to travel to. So I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to spoil all our favorite spots. You know, yeah, it was really nice. That's good. It's good. I'm really happy that um, that Matara had that had that stuff was able to do that with her friend the rosy friend as we know we all know who it is <clears throat> the rosy friend matara's hollywood days they travel the same city met up and hang out and talk i'm really glad those are close friends i'm happy for them i'm reminded of this clip from a month after nina's graduation where a certain voice could be heard in the background rosamie and ray moves off collab <clears throat> matara has done so much for the <clears throat> new victims it feels like she has become the person who looks out for everyone is keeping them all together i hope she has someone the same for her Mostly the victims, not all, but I agree. Not surprised she learned this from a certain mouse of VTuber world. Get her into Hollywood in the beginning of her mainstream VTuber career. And she got shackled pretty badly then. Only for said mouse to help her unshackling. I'm probably the biggest Matara fan of this subreddit. And I always saw it happen in live, but I decided not to post this. She actually mentioned this on Wednesday. She talked about asking Rosie friend for permission to talk about her. And yesterday she mentioned something along the lines of not wanting to make a big deal out of this in case the Rosie friend got hate for this. But now it's out of the bag. I'll share something else from yesterday, Matara, in her VOD talked about a friend who recently started streaming she has an email she's been getting hey love your stuff wants to collab messages from her business email and mata has been telling her to get someone to go through her emails there's a lot of spam phishing mails stuff like that mata has told her to look into the msm talent loaded talent or uta she normally does talent management for hollywood people also for bao shinto etc places like that she never names his friend and you think they'd say it was mint maybe it's doki one of them possibly Toki already has a manager though, so it's probably Mint. Mr. Man uh, isn't exclusively managing her, and with him, it's recently as April 1st, she said the dream convention the lost opportunity of, because the email is too late. From what I can tell, joining one of the talent agencies mentioned my Mata uh, doesn't exclude you from having your own additional manager. 
Shaili is a member of Mythic Talent, and if I remember correctly, she has her own manager, like separate manager. So that's a thing, of course. Uh, right here, I don't think it's Mint. They basically do podcasts. I think Mata, I need to use the email just to invite her to collab. Uh, Sally, I don't think so. And not Doki either. Some people don't think it's Doki. Seems like she definitely have in V Shoujo if she wanted it. Uh, well, the fact that she feels the need to urge to talk about it on stream says they specifically need to meet up physically. It's an important talk that they can't do over Discord VC. Maybe she invited to a certain roles to V Shoujo or a certain roles needs to do some serious advice regarding something. Yeah, maybe there's some, some uh, troubled waters there, but you know, we can't speculate too much because we don't really know. And we won't really know unless something actually happens. Maybe they can just meet up because they're friends. Highly doubt they're going to let Rosemi graduate anytime soon. It looked bad on their financial reports. Can be, I just think it's quite unusual for that to be a sole reason because it's busy Matara's at this point. The worst they can do is make her join a queue of graduating or to delay until the contract expires. There's no way they can be held hostage, right? Right? According to Ma Maria, Pomu had been waiting for a really long time to graduate. She said uh, she knew Pomo was graduating half a year before, she, but implied that she was late to the party on that info. So they could be holding her hostage like they did with Pomu in the sense that not letting her graduate until they decide it's fine for her, for them to graduate. That can happen. I don't doubt that Nidhi Sanji would do that, unfortunately. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys, and I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now, because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.